the mask in the museum, the tale of the Santa Barbara Museum of Art's beloved rodent, I mean resident. Written by Hilary Doubleday, illustrated by Beth Rawlinson, and designed by Leslie Lurio. great to stretch. My back gets kind of stiff sitting on that carving day after day. When I noticed you looking at me, I just couldn't resist joining you. This museum just so happens to be my favorite place ever. And I am not just saying that because I happen to be part of its art collection. I think I can get away with sneaking off for a little while. Wait up! You hoo up there! What are you looking at now? You've fallen under the spell of Chagall's young girl in pursuit, haven't you? Isn't it amazing? The first time I saw it, there was something about it that just got me. I like to think that there is a work of art out there just waiting to capture the heart of each and every one of us. That painting captured mine. It looks like it may have captured yours too. You know, it may have been that very painting that has kept me in the museum for all this time. I could run off and join other mice outside the museum, but why would I leave when I have Chagall's painting here? Not to mention all of the other works of art. It's always so nice, warm, and clean in the museum too. It's downright homey. I couldn't imagine a nicer place to live. Chagall's painting is a part of the museum's permanent collection. You know, actually I'm part of the permanent collection too. The permanent collection is the art that belongs to the museum and will always be here. It might not always be on display, but it will always be in the museum's art. That means I don't need to worry about ever having to leave. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, did I surprise you? I just wanted to see your drawing. If there's art somewhere, I have to try to see it. You know what I just realized? I have been following you around, talking away, and I haven't properly introduced myself. Sometimes I get so excited about art that I forget my manners. My name is Alec. People call me Smart Alec because I have learned so much about art by hanging out in the museum. My official name in the museum is Mouse on Straw Hat. Pretty formal, isn't it? Anyway, it's so nice to meet you, officially. Kids are my favorite visitors to the museum. I especially love it when schools come to visit. Kids notice things about art that adults never see. Did you know that there is a special gallery in the museum just for kids on the lower level? A gallery is a room like the one we are in right now, full of art. You have to go to the Robert and Marlene Veloz Children's Gallery downstairs. The people who work here love it when children come to visit and invent all kinds of things for them to do. Treasure hunts, drawing classes, movie nights, music concerts, and family days. The children always seem to be having fun. He looks pretty good for being 2,000 years old, doesn't he? His name is Hermes, and he's very popular. After all, he is a Greek god. He's the famous messenger for the gods of Mount Olympus. In Greek mythology, he always was very busy, known for being a good talker and sometimes getting into trouble. Hey, that description reminds me of someone. Someone small with a long tail. Know who I'm talking about? I'll give you a hint. He likes to wear a green scarf. Hermes and I have more in common than that though. We both adore traveling. 
I don't need magical flying powers like Hermes to travel though. I can see the world right here inside the museum. There is art from just about anywhere you can think of in this building. Imagine, Rome. I imagine I am visiting Rome, the baths of ancient Rome in Ludington Court. I pretend I am in London, watching the sun shimmering on the Thames River in Monet's Waterloo Bridge. Claude Monet was a French painter who loved to paint outside. One of the funny things about his paintings is that the closer you get to them, the harder it is to see them. Try standing back and walking closer to one of his paintings. You'll see what I mean. Monet is one of the most famous Impressionist painters. In fact, the word Impressionist came from the title of his paintings. People love how he captured light and at different times of day and the way he made things seem to move and feel alive. The museum has several paintings by Monet. You can get lots of practice looking at them around here. It's a trip around the world. Every time I tour the museum, I travel to Asia, whenever I see a giant temple guard carved of wood. And look over here. I can count the stars in the Mexican sky in Tamayo's painting, Noche y Dia. In English, Noche y Dia means night and day. Sometimes I even pick up words in different languages at the museum. The adventures are endless. I love it when the museum gets a big delivery of packages and boxes. It looks like a gigantic birthday party. The boxes are filled with art that is visiting our museums. The art visiting from someplace else is called a visiting exhibition or traveling exhibition. These visiting art exhibits are in the museum for a short period of time. It's always so exciting when they come to town. It's a lot of fun. There's often a party called an opening when the new exhibition is shown to the public for the first time. People pour into the museum eager to see the new art. The openings often have food that is, well, irresistible. No party, no matter how fun or delicious, can last forever though. When it comes time for the art to leave, I often feel sad, but you know what? Even when the art leaves the museum, I still have a picture of it in my head. I can also go to the museum store to buy a postcard of the artwork or maybe a book about it. I have started a collection of postcards from all the different exhibitions that have been shown here. I think of it as my own mini museum. There's still more to this visiting exhibition stuff though. Sometimes our art goes to museums in other cities. Someday, I'm going to be a stowaway in one of the art crates just to see the happiness on people's faces when they see our art. When I finished, when I first heard about the art leaving the museum, I was worried that it might not come back. Thank goodness it always does. It's amazing how museums share and work together. When I first came to the Santa Barbara Museum of Art, I had a lot to learn. After all, I had never been to an art museum before. Wow! Did my life change when I became part of the museum's permanent collection. I couldn't believe it when I opened my eyes. There was so much happening around me. I still can't get over how much fun it is. I go back to my carving all the time for a little rest. But with everything there is to do in the museum, I can't resist leaving it sometimes. One day, on one of my museum explorations, I overheard some people talking about an exhibition. I decided to tag along for a tour of the exhibition led by a docent. Docents 
are people who take special classes at the museum and then share what they've learned with people who visit. Visitors get to learn about what was happening at the time the art was created, who the artists were and what they were like, all sorts of cool facts that makes them like the art even more. The docent on the tour that day told us that art makes you feel things. It can make you feel happy, sad, dreamy, confused, or surprised. I loved hearing this. It is exactly what I knew in my heart already. Just in case you were wondering how I have come to know so much about art, the docent tours are my secret. I have been following docents and learning of art, about art ever since my first tour. Whenever there's new art in the museum, I can't wait for a docent to tell me all about it. One of my favorite things to do is sneak into the offices upstairs to see what's happening behind the scenes at the museum. I go after hours so that no one notices me playing in the miniature museum models they have up there. The models are like dollhouses, just my size. There are a lot of offices to explore upstairs and all sorts of things to learn. The people who work at the museum are like a big family. Each person has a special, special job and they all work together to keep the museum running smoothly. The director of the museum is in charge of just about everything around here. As a mouse, I'd have to call him the big cheese. The curators are in charge of the art that comes to the museum, how it's framed and where it goes. It can take years of work to put on an exhibition. It takes a lot of people to do everything that needs to get done at the museum. Most visitors never see the people who do all this work. The security guards are an exception to this. You may have noticed them walking around the art galleries in their official jackets. It is thanks to the security guards that art in the galleries does not get damaged or for heaven forbid, stolen. They also make sure that every visitor at the museum remembers his or her museum manners. Oh, museum manners? You know about museum manners, right? Just in case you don't, let me give you the inside scoop. It's pretty simple. No jumping jacks, cartwheels, trapeze swings, karate kicks, food fights, wrestling, or sword fights. Just teasing. You would never do crazy stuff like that in a museum, uh, would you? Of course not. I like to think of the main level as the mouse level because I like it there so much. Thanks for the ride. I get worn out running up and down the stairs and I don't like taking the elevator alone. I'm afraid I will get my tail stuck in the door. Did you know that the museum has six floors? If you have ever visited an art museum in a big city, you might think our museum is on the small side. Don't be fooled. Our museum's collection is larger than that of six times our size. Even though it might appear small, it's not. It's certainly not small in terms of its impact on people. It's a place where anyone, no matter who they are, can visit and get excited about what they're seeing. It's a gift to all of us. A guy my size appreciates something that might appear being small, being so important. Know what I mean? June 5th is the museum's birthday. The date has become almost as important to me as my own birthday. Before becoming our art museum, the building was Santa Barbara's main post office. Instead of being filled with all of this art, it was full of letters and packages. Hard to imagine, isn't it? I celebrate the museum's birthday with a big slice of my favorite cake. Have you ever been to a special workshop in the museum? Almost every single case, pedestal, and piece of furniture was made right here. I love the wood shavings in the workshop. They make the softest bed. Sometimes I just lie here and look at my postcard collection and think about all the art I have been lucky enough to see. 
Did you know that sometimes art gets cracks or starts to show the effects of time? After all, some of the museum's artwork is thousands of years old. When the art at the museum needs help, the people who work here know what to do and who to call. They know experts who can fix things. These experts are called art conservators. The conservators have to be really good at what they do. I'm so happy that the art is in a museum where it can get the very best of care. Without the special care that some art gets in the museums, many fragile, precious works of art would be lost forever. The underground floors in the museum are called the vaults. Kind of scary sounding word, isn't it? I was afraid that the vaults might be like dungeons before I got brave enough to explore them one day. Wow, was I wrong. The vaults are more like a treasure chest than a dungeon. It is down in the vault that the museum stores the paintings, sculptures, and photographs that are not on display. The museum has more art in its permanent collection than it could ever show all at once. All the time I have lived in the museum, I still haven't been able to see it all. Oh, we're already at the museum cafe. I hear the food is just delicious. You're going to love it. I can't believe how fast the time has gone. That always happens here. Well, I better get going. It would be sort of funny if someone read the label next to my carving that says mouse on a straw hat and noticed there was no mouse. Before I go, I want you to know that I'm so glad we met today. I am even happier that you like the museum. I can't wait to see you here again. I'll be sure to look for you in the galleries. Will you look for me too? The end.